Please be the insight you need. I'm Olivia Hu. Latest data released by the Chinese Ministry of Commerce reveals that the country's foreign trade surpassed the 40 trillion yuan mark for the first time in 2022. What this means is that, despite a turbulent global economic and trade environment, China's foreign trade has withstood multiple unexpected pressures and achieved stable growth. That said, it's also worth noting that this year the country's foreign trade is set to face even more challenges from the lingering global economic recession and a continued slowdown in external demand. So, what exactly will China's foreign trade situation be in 2023? Wang Wenchao, Minister of Commerce, said that China must make full use of its advantages to stabilize and optimize its foreign trade. To stabilize foreign trade, it's necessary to stabilize the policy and stabilize expectations through stable policies. Last year, the foreign trade situation was severe. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic and uncertain foreign demand, the Chinese government issued two sets of stabilization policies, which played an important role in boosting foreign trade to 42 trillion yuan last year. One said, the Ministry of Commerce is currently studying opinion from the relevant provinces and enterprises on the difficulties they face and will introduce appropriate policies at an opportune time to lift foreign trade. Besides stabilizing policies, market stabilities are not an important factor. It's not only necessary to stabilize traditional markets such as North America, Europe, Japan and South Korea, but also to develop emerging markets. At the same time, markets in Latin America and countries along the Belt and Road route also have great potential. Last year, trade between China and ASEAN saw to the highest level, making the latter the country's largest trading partner. All of these efforts have helped stabilize trade channels. The Ministry of Commerce has stated that you'll use traditional channels such as the Canton Fair to carry out trade promotion activities. At the same time, you'll also encourage enterprises to participate in exhibitions abroad and encourage local governments, trade promotion agencies and business associations to carry out various kinds of trade promotion activities. Efforts are also underway to improve the overall trade structure. In this regard, the Ministry of Commerce will take measures to promote a rapid and healthy development of cross-border e-commerce. Steps will also be taken to enhance the foreign trade supply chain and promote industrial transfers to the central, western and northeastern regions. The Ministry will also work to optimize the product structure and cultivate new momentum for trade. In addition, digital empowerment will be used to boost trade momentum including supporting localities to explore and hold trade digital exhibitions and accelerating the construction of a digital pallet area for global trade in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area.